In part one of this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to express fluid pressure force as an integral. Question one reads, for the dam shown, express the force as an integral and evaluate it. What we have to do is create a function that looks like this, where this Greek letter rho represents the density, and that's a constant, and so is g, which is gravity. d of y represents the depth as a function of y, whereas w of y is the width as a function of y. And this is usually the tricky part when you have weird looking shapes. Luckily for us, that's not the case in question one. We have a square, so this one is easy. Let's start by writing out force is equal to the integral between, and since it's with respect to y, it's the distance from top to bottom. In our case, it's zero to four. Keep in mind that for these examples, y is measured position downwards. Our density is given right here. It's 1,000, and that's a constant. Our gravity is 9.8. The depth function is represented as y, because if we took mini rectangles all along the rectangular dam, these mini rectangles would have the dimensions of width times the depth y. So we want the y part of those rectangles, which we'll represent as the change of y. And the width is represented as the width of those rectangles that we just drew, which would all be 10. Now we have to integrate. I'll pull out these three numbers and multiply them outside of the integral, where I end up with 1,000 times 9.8 times 10 times the integral between 0 and 4, y dy. The integral of this function is quite simple. It's y to the power of 2 over 2, and we have to integrate this at 0 and 4. We know that at 0, it will be nothing. And of course, whatever you find here, you'll multiply to all of this, which is equal to 98,000. 4 to the power of 2 is 16, divided by 2 is 8. Multiplying this number by 8, we get 784,000 newtons. That's the force for question number 1. And that's the force that's being exerted on this tiny dam that's 10 by 4. In question two, we're asked, suppose a thin plate that is eight meters wide and three meters tall is immersed vertically into water, one meter below the surface. Express the force on one side of the plate as an integral. This one is similar to question one. That's why I grouped it together. And here's what you do. F is equal to, and this time our bounds will be different. Okay, so just picture it like this. We have an x, y, plane, where this is our y-axis, this is our x-axis, this is water, and we have a plate that is 8 meters wide, 3 meters tall, and there is a space of 1 meter from the surface. So let's continue writing our function. The fact that it's submerged 1 meter below the surface of the water, so let's pretend that this is water, will change the bounds. So instead of like before where we had 0 and 4, where it was right at the surface, this time it will be 1 and 4. So the integral between 1 and 4. And keep in mind that y is being measured positioned downwards. So y is downwards. This is why it's positive 1 and positive 4. Rho stays the way it is. It's 1,000. Gravity is the same. Our function dy will be y still. And our width this time is 8 with respect to dy. I'll pull out all the constants. 1,000 times 9.8 times 8 between 1 and 4. y with respect to y. This becomes y to the power of 2 over 2, and we're going to find out what that is at 1 and 4. And then multiply that by what this is. Let's start by finding out what this is. 1,000 times 9.8 times 8, that gives us 78,400. And 4 to the power of 2 is 16 divided by 2 is 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8, and we'll subtract that from 0 0.5. So we have this number times 7.5, and that gives us 588,000 newtons. 
That's the force being exerted on this 3 by 8 plate. So there you have it. Two examples on how to express fluid pressure as a force. Make sure to watch part two where we do a lot more examples.